Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's InfiTQ SC interview experience. Guys, previously also I have posted the interview experience of SC InfiTQ for 2023 batch students also. So I have uh, I have got a tremendous response on that video. So many of you have requested me to make more such videos. So here I am with this video, guys. Please make sure that you are watching this video till the end so that you can get to know the different types as well as different level of the questions which are getting asked in this interview. Now this interview happened today only that is on 17th July 2022. So make sure that you are watching you are not skipping any part of this video. Guys, previously also many interview experiences for Infosys for all the profiles SC, DSC and SV profiles have been posted on my channel and all those interview experiences you can find under this playlist. So for all the roles like SC, uh, for SC, DSC and SP role, so all those interview experiences are present in this playlist. I will give you the link of this uh, playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it because lot of interview experiences are uh, getting repeated. So it will be beneficial for you. And guys, uh, recently only we have started taking mock interviews for uh, the for you guys. So last month we took the mock interviews for uh, Infosys DSC profile and we got a very good response on that. So now since TCS Ninja interviews are also going on, TCS Detail interviews are also going on as well as Infosys system interviews are also going on. So therefore we have, we have take, we are taking the mock interviews for them. So if you wish, you can book your slot with us. So these slots are very limited. So if you wish to give the mock interview, it will really help you in boosting your confidence and it will be helping you for the main interviews. So I, I hope now all these things are clear to you and guys, even if, if you are not subscribed to the channel now, please subscribe it because uh, every day I will be posting such videos and it will be very beneficial for you. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button. Okay, so as the date of the interview was 17th July 2022, that is today only. The branch of my friend was CSC. The duration of the entire interview was 15 minutes. So uh, earlier also in the previous videos, I have also told you that the uh, SC interview experiences are of uh, uh, ranging from 10 minutes to 15 minutes only because le very less amount of questions are asked because the package they are offering is also very less. Okay, so I hope now this confusion is uh, clear to you because many of you are asking that sir, I, I I had only nine minutes of interview, I had only five minutes of interview. So they are just checking the basic questions that are very commonly asked. So let's just see in the video what type of questions were asked in this particular interview. Okay, so first question was what languages you are comfortable with. So in this interview, they directly asked that uh, they directly started with what languages you are comfortable with. But in general interviews, uh, the first question is uh, first question is tell me about yourself. Again, I have covered in detail the answer in previous videos, so you can watch them. Okay, so my friend said C plus plus for this particular answer. Next question was what is exception handling? So again, guys, for exception handling, I will try to give this link in the description box because the main main name of this video is to tell you the type of the questions which can be asked from you not the answers of them because all the answers are present on the google okay so what is exception handling uh, i will give you the link in the description box next question is find out the maximum uh, maximum number out of the n numbers so you will be given an array of numbers and you will have to find the maximum number in that array of n numbers so i hope now this question is clear to you this is a very basic question that can be asked from you in the interview Again, the link you will find in the description box for this particular code. So I hope this thing is also clear. Next question is explain OOPS concepts in detail. So guys, OOPS concepts are generally four concepts that is abstraction, polymorphism, inheritance and encapsulation. And for this particular question, this question is very important as per the interview is concerned. Therefore, I have made a separate video on the on my uh, channel describing the different types of OOPS concepts and how you will have to answer each of the uh, concept in detail to the interviewer okay so i hope now this question is also clear to you next question was what are the aggregate functions so guys there are majorly uh, there are many aggregate functions that which are present but main uh, main aggregate functions are average so first of all aggregate functions are used on a column in sql so average so average will give you the average value of that column the count will give you the number of values that are present in that column okay minimum will give you the minimum value that is present in that particular column on which this aggregate function is applied. The max will give you the maximum value in that column and sum will give you the sum of all the values which are present in that particular column on which this aggregate function will be uh, will be applied. So I hope this particular question is also clear to you. Next question is uh, you will have to tell the uh, you will have to tell the query to find the maximum salary. So again, it's a very commonly asked query on SQL in the interview. So here 
So this is the query you can see. Simply give select max salary where salary stands for the column name from table and that is employee table. Okay. So this is the basic query that can you uh, that you can tell to the interviewer or you can write in the chat section for the where your interview is happening. Okay. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question was explain about your projects. So guys, when you are giving uh, when you are giving the interviews for these type of companies, the project related question or the internship related questions become very uh, handful. Why? Because see now see this interview is happening for 10 to 15 minutes only. So how will the interviewer know that what all technologies you have worked on, how good grasp you have on that technologies. So for that reason only this question is very important because here you will explain to the interviewer that what was your project about. What were your technologies that you used in them? How you, how you use them, and how you solved a particular problem? Again, since you are fresher, you you might be having confusion that how you will have to explain your project to the interviewer. So guys, do not worry. I have again made a separate video on this channel only. That is how to explain your projects to the interviewer for both experienced as well as for the freshers. So I will give you that that video link in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it, visit it. Because in that video, I have first tell you how you will have to explain your project to the interviewer, and later I have told you that what are the commonly asked questions that can be uh, that you can expect from the project section. Okay, so I will give you that video link in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it. Okay, so I hope now this question is also clear to you. Plus, again a reminder to you, we have started taking the mock interviews for different different roles for different different companies. So we are taking mock interviews for Infosys System Engineer role also. So if you want to give us the mock interview, if you are not confident about your uh, about your interview process, so then you can simply give us the mock interviews. You will simply have to visit this site. I will give you that link in the description box. You can come to us and we will take your mock interviews. Okay, the slots are very limited, so book as soon as possible. The links you will find in the description box. Okay. Now continuing to the video. Uh, next question was. Suppose you have a multiple task, how will you complete it? So again, these type of questions, that is situational based questions, can be asked from you in the interview. That is, suppose you have multiple tasks, how you will complete it? So first of all, what, is, what should be your approach? You will have to prioritize your task. That which one is more important, which one is less important. Another thing, what you can do, you can see that also. That is, which task you can complete on your own. That is, if a task is dependent on any other person, then again, based on that, also you can prioritize the task. That which all things you can handle on your own and for which all things you are dependent on others. So these type of answers will be suitable for these type of questions. But again, many of you are uh, many of your thinking are in different ways. So again, you can make up your own answers, but it should be in a positive way only. Okay, you can't say like uh, if I have multiple tasks, I will assign it to someone else. You can you cannot say like this, but you can form all the type of answers what you have in mind. But always the answer should be in positive format. Okay, so I hope. Now all these things are clear to you. Okay. So now moving to the next question. Will you share your password and ID to the manager if they want? So guys, this is a very tough question. You can simply answer no to this in the interview because see, you do not how it does not matter. It does not matter how how much you trust another person or how much bigger in authority the next person is, but you cannot share your credentials. That is password and ID to the managers. It is against the rules of any company of any client. They will strictly Tell you that whether whether it is manager or CEO of any company is asking you to share your ID password, you cannot share them. Okay, simply say no to this answer. Do not drag it till the end. You simply say no. It is related to authentication, so I will not provide anything. Okay, so I hope now this question is also clear to you. Okay, so now this is the last question of this interview. That is, what are your long term goals? So again, guys, uh, this question is dependent on you only. Every person thinks differently. So the some might have to do some uh, uh, higher level educations. Some might to have to prepare for some other exams, or have to gain some position in the company only, or have to become managers, team lead. So these are different type of goals that you might have, or any other goals you can tell to the interviewer. Okay. So I hope all these questions are clear to you. And if you like this video, please comment down that yes, you want more such videos if it is helpful. And again, if you are not confident, if you are not confident about your main interviews you can come to us and give us the mock interviews we will be happy to take it okay so now the slots are very limited uh, book your slot as soon as possible okay so all these questions i hope are clear to you please subscribe the channel if you are not subscribed till now because later on also many videos related to sc will be posted that how uh, what is the salary structure how we will be uh, how for the joint documents i will be making videos so all these type of videos i will be posting guys kindly hit the subscribe button thank you for watching this